there is nothing, and we mean nothing, that will stop Barry Long from doing whatever he wants. A day like today reminds me that I can still do whatever I want and not have to worry about being in a wheelchair. Howdy partners and welcome to Go For It. I'm Kevin Flint. And I'm Teresa Roncon. And today I'll take you on a four-legged adventure through some of the world's most spectacular scenery. That's right. Teresa gets to go trail riding through the Wilmore Wilderness Park near the Canadian Rockies. Well, blazing saddles I wasn't. But I did have a great time riding through the mountains and as you'll see through the rivers of this magnificent park. We'll also meet a man whose wheelchair goes where most people will never dare to even walk. That's to the edge of a bungee jump. This is one story you'll be telling your friends about for a long time. Because now, we have a story you won't want to miss. We're about to introduce you to a man who's a certifiable thrill seeker. A man who lets nothing stop him from achieving his adventure dream. Nothing. Not even a motorcycle accident that left him paralyzed from the waist down. You only get one chance at life, and I was that close to not having a second chance. And I've got a second chance. And man, I'm gonna live it up. I'm gonna do everything that I can possibly do to have as much fun in the short life that I've got. in New Zealand and used a table leg with a shoe bolted to it to drive a Volkswagen van all over Australia. Just your average guy, right? Ready? There's nothing at all average about Barry Long. In February of 91, I was hit by a truck on my motorcycle. I was weaving in and out of traffic like you do. I was passing a bunch of cars and I got sideswiped by a truck. Uh, it was my fault. Uh, I was in the wrong place. Um, Instantly, I was paralyzed after hitting a cement flight of stairs at about 80 plus miles an hour. Um, I paralyzed myself from the chest down permanently. I'll never walk again. It was a hardship right at first just because I didn't know what to expect. It was something new, and, and I'm going to say it was scary, but. It was scary in a good way because I wasn't afraid of it. Um, I don't know how to put it. It was scary to look at the future because I didn't have any idea what to expect. It wasn't, it wasn't something I'd ever dealt with before, so I had no clue. But with the help of my friends and my family and my attitude of, well, let's go for it, we've, <laughs> I pretty much learn how to deal with it all. But Barry's done far more than just deal with it. When I crashed my motorcycle, I lost ability that was obvious. I'm paralyzed from the chest down, but the attitude of not worrying about that has overcome the loss of ability. <laughs> See you later. The first time I bungee jumped, That's it for Barry! <laughs> it was a fluke. We went to a water park, and there happened to be a bungee crane there. And I went over to this guy who was running it and said, hey, would you uh, be willing to jump a guy in a wheelchair? And the guy looked at me and went, whoa, that would be cool. We're doing it right now. And 45 minutes later, I had all the harnesses on, the whole nine yards, and they wheeled me up to this platform 175 feet up. And I didn't realize, but they had announced to the whole Enchanted Park that some guy in a wheelchair was bungee jumping. And now we were doing it in my chair. And uh, I got up to the edge, and I looked out, and there was 2,000 people watching me. And I went off. And at that point, I knew that I was going to be able to do anything I ever wanted to do in a chair. It didn't matter anymore. I'm not a cat. I've had more than nine lives. And from there on, it was just a good time. Since then, I've bungee jumped six more times, and every single time is more exciting than the first. Go for it, that should be my theme, because there are very few things that I don't go for. There's more people that are disabled than I am who can walk. You know, people are self-disabling, is how I put it. 
and, and their attitudes stop them from doing the things that they'd like to do but they're afraid of. Whereas, even if I'm afraid of it, I'll do it because I'll be more excited if I try and fail than if I don't try at all. Oh, wow. wow. I tell you, Teresa, Barry has a lot of guts, and that's not just because he jumps out of a helicopter with a bungee cord. Oh, yeah, he's got guts, but he's also got a real spirit, which he gets across to the groups he talks to in his motivational speeches. He's a real hero and inspiration to a lot of disabled and able-bodied people. Yeah, he sure is.